One. Helmets have been designed typically for the purpose of protecting the head from traumatic head injury. However, they're not designed with the intent of protecting the brain from brain injury. As consumers, we think that the brain is protected as a component of the head. However, that's not so. The traditional head uh, apparatus that's used for testing helmets runs on twin parallel wires and when the head impacts the force plate, it bounces on the force plate, but there's no neck that allows for a, a rotational response to the impact. Now, the forces associated with the linear acceleration are those responsible for traumatic head injuries, such as skull fractures and brain contusions. However, it's the forces associated with the rotational accelerations are those uh, responsible for brain injuries including concussion and traumatic brain injury. So we have a modified test apparatus that incorporates the hybrid 3 head and the hybrid 3 neck. And when this apparatus impacts the anvil, the steel anvil, the linear forces are translated into both linear and rotational forces and so we get a true perspective on the risk of traumatic head and traumatic brain injury because the neck will flex upon impact and we're able to determine those rotational accelerations. So using this apparatus we can test existing helmets and we can also investigate the, the protective potential of uh, various advanced materials in terms of reducing the risk of rotational injury. Three, two, one.